Google just moved one step closer to traditional search results being replaced by AI mode. They just rolled out a wider version of a test they ran in October. When you run a search in Google and see the AI overview, there'll be a show more option that expands the answer. And below the expanded answer is a chat input where you can start a conversation with AI mode. This is one of several experiments they've been running to more fully integrate AI mode into the traditional search results. My prediction is that within less than a year, Google search results are gonna look more like AI mode than traditional search search results. This has major implications for SEO and digital marketing in general. Considering that SEO campaigns typically focus on long-term growth, I don't think it makes sense anymore to focus on ranking in traditional search engines. Your SEO or GEO strategy should be entirely focused on how to show up in large language models. Now, a lot of SEOs are going to tell you that it's all the same. They're going to say that even when you're using AI mode, it's still just performing a series of searches in a traditional search engine and returning the results. And while that's technically true, AI mode searches in a much different way than humans. AI mode and large language models in general do something called query fan out. They're going to take your search or prompt and then do a series of searches to collect related information. They're then going to look through dozens or even hundreds of web pages, decide which ones are most relevant to your query, and then summarize the results. And that really does change the strategy despite what a lot of SEOs are saying right now. The game is no longer about ranking for a handful of super competitive terms. Instead, visibility is going to be spread across thousands of hyper-specific terms with very little competition. The two big implications for your strategy is one, you need to be tracking what sources these large language models are citing, and two, you need to be creating that hyper-specific content on as many platforms as possible so that you have as many chances as possible to be one of those sources.